So you've created your business plan, your ideas developed, and now you need some money. I'm sitting with Danny Robinson. Danny is the founder of two internet-based companies, a co-founder of a trading company, and a co-founder of a pioneer technology company. Wow, Danny, that is an impressive <laughs> resume. What's the, been the appeal of you of being an entrepreneur? I don't know. When I was in college, I started a desktop publishing company, and uh, my biggest customer sort of hired me, and uh, that was a startup at the time when I got hired in, so I sort of got a taste of not only starting my own desktop publishing company, but then going and working for a startup in a startup environment. So um, I just, I think I fell in love with the sort of the, the adrenaline rush that you get from starting companies. So the startup is where it's at for you? Yeah, definitely. So if we can talk about the money a bit and how you sure. raise capital. Yeah. Is, is that something that you enjoy? Um, no, no, not necessarily. I don't think many entrepreneurs enjoy raising money. Okay. You know, they wish they just had it so they could get on with life, right? right. That's usually the way it goes, but... Is there usually a lot of searching involved in oh, yeah. finding funding? Oh, it takes months and even... Yeah, I think my record is two months and that is like, you know, not bragging or anything, but that is that was a crazy situation with all the, you know, everything falling into line just perfectly. So, you know, I usually give myself six months as a, as a timeline. So whenever I think I'm going to run out of money, I back up six months and start then, you know, and feeling that I'll probably close it in three to four months. Just so you're prepared. Yeah. You can't run out of money. You can't go raising money when you know you're going to run out because then, you know, you're not going to get a very good deal from the investors when you're out of money. They right. Know, they know they can just string you along a little longer and you're out. Now, what about, do you have any success tips in finding investors or raising capital? Um, uh, you know, to be honest, I, I've, I've been doing it for, uh, the first round of financing I think I did was in 98 or 90, yeah, 98, okay. and uh, almost 10 years ago. And it, um, um, it was a lot different then than it is now. And not only because the market and everything else is different, um, but uh, also because, you know, for me personally, I was brand new then and now I've done it a few times. So to be honest, it's hard, hard to even go back and remember it as it was back then. But what I do remember from back then is, is it being a lot harder as the first timer than it is now. Right. You know, so now I just, it's just, you know, I just have people that I know, right? Is there any specific places a person can look? Um, well, you know, in Vancouver specifically, there's, you know, there's the angel forums, there's the VCs, there's the, you know, you, you got to look for other people who are raising money, who have done it before, who you call up and say, you know, I'm taking you to coffee whether you like it or not, and you take them out and you, you know, you drill them for who they got their money from and, you know, try to get into that guy. Maybe that guy's not necessarily interested, but some other guy will be, so you play the network. Right. Yeah. And now we have Fun Finder. Yeah. Who's very excited. About this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, what must an, an entrepreneur have in place before they start looking for investors? Like, what are people expecting to see? Well, it depends on who you're pitching to. Um, but I think primarily the most important thing is, is, um, uh, is, is like a really good PowerPoint presentation okay. and a pro forma financial uh, projection. Um, in my opinion, I mean, this may not be the same as everybody else's opinion, but uh, my opinion is I don't think you really need a full-blown business plan. Okay. Uh, because I think that that's just, you know, most most investors that I deal with, at least in the internet world, really don't, you know, they don't really deal, they don't read them anyway, right? So it's just not really... Is it good to have it, though, so that investors are aware that you actually know what you're doing and what the growth of your company and goals of your company are? Um, yeah, I, I, haven't, I, I haven't actually needed it, but I've done them anyway for my own personal use. So I think, you know, I don't know if you, you should do it as an entrepreneur for the investor to think that. Right. You should do it if you think it's actually going to benefit you. Benefit yourself. Yeah. Are, is there anything else you should have in place before you look for investors? Um, you got to, you gotta, like, I think you should run the idea by everybody you know. Okay. The, just your friends, your mom, your kids, if you have them, whatever, all across the board, run it by everybody so that... Um, you have every every question they answer, or every question they have, you've got the answer for. Because by the time you go to an investor, they're going to ask you those same questions. And if you've got the answer, I mean, they're going to be very impressed. Right, so get some feedback on yeah. your idea. And forget about NDAs. NDAs are for amateurs. Okay. Yeah. And ideas are worthless. It's the people that make them happen that are the, the, the value, is the, is the thing that's the, it's hard to find. Right. So... Um, 
you know, if you tell your idea to 50 people, which I've, I, in the early days, started with NDAs, thinking all paranoid, somebody's going to steal my idea because it's so awesome. And then <laughs> you realize that that's absolutely BS because no, you can tell everybody your idea and nobody really, not a lot of people have the wherewithal or the passion or the time or the risk tolerance to actually go and make it all happen. Right, they're not interested in the same things you are, and they don't no. necessarily want the same things. Right. right, right. So they'll hear your idea and think it's really cool, but they're not going to go start the company. They don't want to run it. No way, no, it's too hard. So it's good to share. Yeah, feedback. share with everybody, everybody you know.